Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to put a full FPV system on the DJI Phantom. And this is the version 1. And as you can tell it has been uh, modified. Uh, just very little, just a uh, different style landing gear was put on. And this original arm, this is a friend of mine's, and this original arm was kept on to, to keep the compass. But uh, he did, uh, he simply took off the top uh, plate just by unscrewing these case screws here. Took this plate off and screwed this high landing gear on because he does have a uh, dampener here with a GoPro mount. And on the back, and this is a side view of it here, simple modification guys. This is pretty cheap landing gear too. You can get it on eBay. Uh, a lot of guys have it locally. And on the back here he put a uh, carbon fiber plate. I think this was actually made for the for the Phantom. And um, he can keep the battery here when the GoPro is in the front. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go through the steps and what you need to make your Phantom FPV. So uh, let's start with the camera. Now this is a just a regular, um, this is a Sony, this is a 700 TV line camera. It's really nice. It's got good video quality. It's a little on the heavy side with this case, but it offers good protection. And it has this nice mount so you can put it at different angles um, and just tighten these screws up and it'll stay. And also it runs on 12 volts. Now, the basics of what you guys are going to need, and the OSD is always optional, you really don't need that to start, but I'm going to put it on this and show you how, is you're going to need a video transmitter, and this is an immersion 600 milliwatt video transmitter. You're going to need a camera. Okay, so these are the two basic things here. And some optional things you could do are, once you get it wired up, you can put a video switch in. And this is a cheap one from Hobby King. And this you can control up to three different cameras. So if you want the FPV camera, let's say on the frame, so your horizon's you know, true, you can switch to the gimbal camera like the GoPro using something like this with one of your extra radio channels. It's a really cool thing to have, and you can do a lot of cool things with it. So we have these two basic uh, parts you're going to need for an FPV system. Now, on the other side of that, I have the Fat Shark Attitude. And these are my uh, SD goggles here. These are my Attitude Fat Shark Attitude SDs. Um, what's nice is this is the receiving source for the video. So this has a built-in 5.8 gig receiver, and I'm using the same frequency. This is very important. You have to be on the same frequency for these to work. Or if you want to use... Uh, 1280 or 1.2G or 900 megahertz, then you'll need a separate receiver for your ground station so you can view the video, whether it be through goggles or a uh, monitor, something like that. So you need something to receive the signal. Now with this case, I always fly with the goggles, so I'm just gonna use the receiver that's built in, which is already on 5.8. Now in this, in this uh, tutorial, I'm also gonna show you guys how to hook up a simple RemZB OSD, which, um, Pretty straightforward, it's got a return to home button, video in and video out, you got ground and signal here. And then these are your voltages, you have two voltages in, let's say your motor and your video, and this is your GPS antenna. This will give you your distance from home, um, altitude, airspeed, variometer, gives you your longitude and latitude locations, uh, battery voltages, timers, there's a really ton of features on this nice open source so you can get in there and change things around on it. And I'll show you guys the uh, RemZB program also, which looks like this, where you can change your screen around. So, uh, two big big things to remember first, guys, is the camera. Now there's two really, two different voltages that are out there for cameras, and one's five, five volts, and one's 12. Now this one's 12 volts, as you can see there. So, and, and this, I know this looks really confusing, and. You know what, the first thing I do with this, honestly, is I cut this off. And we're going to get right to these wires down here. So another thing you need is a nice, decent pair of side cutters. Uh, and I'm just going to, I'm going to leave myself some room here. Because we can always cut them shorter, but we can't get them longer. And I'm going to pull this insulation off if I can. Okay, perfect. Now what I have is these three wires here, which... Real simple guys, ground is the black, red is the power, 12 volts going into the camera, and yellow is my video signal. 
And these, this black is common, so you can use it with the power and also with the video, okay? And there might be some cases where you have to split that. So that's the camera, and that's pretty much, those are the three main wires you want. Now, ones with microphones are going to have uh, either a left and right or a green and white cable for a microphone, or just one wire for microphone plus a ground, or just one wire for the microphone signal. So you'll use a common ground in that case. So these three wires, once again, are power, video for yellow, and black is the ground. Now we go to the video transmitter, and these can really be, you know, confusing, but first look at them. They're really not that bad. Basically on an immersion uh, 600, what we're looking at is we have the power going into the transmitter, and and you can actually read the label here. It says audio left, audio right, video, ground, and five volts out. Now, this is for, like I said, a five volt camera, which we're not gonna use because our camera runs on 12 volts. So in this case, we're gonna use this power to power our camera as well. And the video and the ground we're gonna use, these two grounds will actually go together in this case. And the, the audio we're not gonna use at all. We're just gonna go for video on this quick setup, okay? So on the Remzibi, which I showed you guys these wires, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to get our power. And I'm gonna run this with one battery. Uh, this is gonna run off the flight battery, so I'm pretty much going to un unplug uh, VCC. There's VCC 1 and ground, VCC 2 and ground. I'm going to unplug 2. The power to the unit and the engine is going to be going through VCC 1. Okay, so we're going to make sure we got clean leads there. And we're going to also hook up the Fat Shark to this as well. And we're pretty much going to join these together so we're, they're both getting power, okay, into a JST or the Fat Shark uh, power filter. Now, this is so you can use a balance plug on the same battery or a different battery. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to skip this out and we're going to plug it into a JST. Now, on the Phantom, what I did was this is pretty much just an extension from inside here, as if you can see in there. There's a battery extension in there. And this is just an extension off the board to give me power, okay, which is real easy to run, guys. Um, it's just go to the main board, hook up a, this is a JST plug, and it's gonna power my video transmitter and my OSD and my camera all in one. So this will be a pretty portable, portable system here. So what I first wanna do is, I'm gonna put these power cables together and I'm going to attach them using, um, so I'm going to solder them up, okay? And then we're going to worry about getting the video, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We'll come back here in just a sec. Okay, guys, we got the power done, and I ran, I got both uh, cables going to the, a uh, JST plug, okay, for my power connection on the Phantom. And the next step is pretty much going to be we have the we have power, so that's the first problem, and uh, that's pretty much solved. Now the next step is going to be to run the video, okay? And I, what I like to do is I like to work my way backwards. I'm going to start right at the camera, at the source of the video, and work my way into the receiver. So, and we're real quick. If you look at the back of the RMZB, which there we go, the top two are going to be the AV in, which is the video in and the ground, and the AV out in the ground. So I'm going to take the top two wires, and I know going in is going to be coming from the camera. Okay. And there's two ways we can do this. Now, this is the time if you want to add a video switch so you can hook it up to your GoPro. What you'll want to do in this case is, is get a servo plug like, like this one, but the other end. Um, and you're going to want to hook up the ground and the signal wire, which is the, in this case, this is the JR plug, so it would be the yellow, to the video signal, okay? And what that's going to do is you're not going to need power because you, uh, you don't need any power going to this. This is just for video and ground um, coming into the OSD. And what I recommend is if you guys are going to use a three-way video switch is you're going to want to put uh, 
pretty much you're gonna want to put servo plugs on your cameras and there's already one with the GoPro cable and we're gonna do that now and I'm gonna show you guys how this all comes together nicely so it's nicely and it's, it's plug and play so you can just unplug certain cameras plug a new camera in and you really understand the concept of uh, power and everything so it all works uh, works in harmony okay guys so in this case this camera is a it's a different board camera from the one I'm actually going to use for this build but just to illustrate what I'm talking about is this uh, servo wire is plugged into it and we have our ground our signal and our power and this is power to the camera okay so what we want to do in this case is it would actually go into this video switch and let's say camera one which is right there and we're going to make sure you want to pay attention to the whether it's signal plus or minus and we'll take our plug here and I got it backwards there we go and this camera would be plugged into camera one now you're probably wondering with these two wires coming out of the Remzibi for video in and video out what we're going to do for power because one thing with the Remzibi is there is no power okay so for the for the uh, for the cameras as far as coming out of the OSD so we'll set the OSD aside for a minute here and we're just going to talk about the video transmitter okay now what I do in this case is because I have a 12 volt camera is I'm going to put a servo plug on the ground in the signal and I'm going to splice the power that's going into the transmitter and I'm going to use these three hooked up to a servo plug like this and that would go into my video out on my switch so and, that, and, and I know this is confusing but I don't want to use the reason why I'm saying this is I don't want to use 5 volts out I want to use 12 volts out for my camera so what's going into the into the transmitter here I, I'm going to splice that and run just the hot wire to my camera and what we'll do is we're going to take the video in the ground and then the hot wire from the power and we're going to run to a servo plug like this for my video switch so I'll do that now okay guys real quick I wanted to show you that I wanted to show you how it's wired up here and what I do is I have my power coming into the video transmitter my video and my ground going into the video transmitter and what I did was I jumped the power to go to the camera because it's a 12 volt camera so I have I have it plugged into the Phantom here using that external plug that we have to power it up and ignore the blue light that's for the GPS the on-screen display which I'll show you guys next but if you can see and this is just the transmitter and the camera hooked up and I have video and this is uh, through my goggles so it might be hard to see but the video is crystal clear and it's uh, it's working